was good YouTube it's your boy bugs back and guys today we are going over HGA grading and if you guys are new to the channel make sure to sub it up comment down below we'd be appreciated man we're on the road to 200 subs this is my second channel if you guys don't know me I'm a 2k youtuber with 13,000 subs and we're going over HGA grading because I honestly love them so much um we, we got in and if this video hits a certain amount of likes I'm putting this at 500 likes uh, because I know a lot of you guys have been having a trouble with getting in to submit with HGA and I'm going to show you guys how there's a little tip but this video has to hit 500 likes subs maybe get 200 subs as well man this video will help you a lot with HGA grading I have a tip to help you grade literally almost every time it's literally a hack it's a glitch I don't know what it is but it worked for me and yeah we're going to get into it what it looks like to submit um what it looks like in general how much it costs and whatnot so let's get into it man let's go so right now if you guys don't know they have time stamps okay um thursday around four eastern i think and friday at nine eastern they do like 1300 slots this year this week and i actually got into 20 card order um so that is actually my thumbnail and that's for 2k and here we go so we're gonna go over my order and i'm gonna show you how much it costs so it costs a 31 a card listen they're taxing but it's all around it's all about the freaking turnaround time guys if you guys collect cards if you guys collect cards in general you should know it's all about turnaround time if you're getting a brand new if you pop a pack right and you get a brand new lamello ball and you send it into hga and you get it back in a month who's beating you to that price if you saw the lamello ball crusade psa 10 one of the first ones up there sold for 480 dollars so in my opinion if you want to make a lot of money on cards honestly go buy cards raw go get them graded like a hundred dollar card get it graded it could be 500 to a thousand that's just how it works in my opinion you want to make money you grade cards now with psa you can't can't you can't make money you're going to get back a what an order every seven eight ten months you, you can't make money that way who wants to wait that long only problem is they do put take the money out right away but it doesn't matter it's okay i have the money that's why i'm getting it graded but here we go here's my grading order right here Tyrese Halliburton I I'm setting in my prism drafts why because prism drafts are selling they're selling for 80 100 150 you're, you're gonna pay 32 a card big deal it's like $15 more than PSA all right you're gonna get it back in a month versus eight months when people already have those cards graded and you lose so here's the thing um we got Tyrese prism draft prism draft prism draft Tyrese Halliburton one of my favorite rookies can't go wrong I created so many Lamellos. One Lamello, two Lamellos, three Lamellos, four, five, six, seven. We have so many Lamello balls. I got a gold Lamello ball. So I got Lamello ball. We got the Edwards Hoops base. LeBron James NBA Hoops silver foil, five out of 199. Zion Williamson base NBA Hoops. It's a mint card. I had to get it graded. Fred Van Fleet pink prism rookie card. It's only his first prism. They consider it his rookie card. Getting that graded. That card looks beautiful. Jason Tatum rated rookie. Donovan Mitchell rated rookie. DeGrom Chrome Bowman first. I'm a Mets fan. Fernando Tatis Bowman first. Very good car right there. My man Justin Jefferson. Panini instant. One out of 129. And Mr. Joe Burrow. The rookies. Got that on my optic hobby football box. So now how are you going to submit? Well, it's so easy. Here are the instructions. Um, this order was $670 for two cards. $670 plus the shipping at USPS. It costs around $679 for 20 cards. You do the math, it's around 33-ish a card. Maybe even a little bit more. I'd say 34 a card. 34 a card, all right. It's a lot of money, I'm not going to lie to you. But think about it. Every card you should be sending it to get graded should be at least a comeback of 60 to 100 bucks. So you're going to make a lot, at least... My, I think I'm going to make at least 30 a card. It makes sense, right? 30 a card, 30 times 20, you should make at least $500. If you're not making at least $500, it's tough. Uh, my favorite way to look at the cards to see if it's worth grading, obviously, is put it under a very bright light and shine it around. Look for scratches. That's my best way. Um, but yeah, here's the packaging instructions. So much easier than PSA. It is just so much easier. My review on uh, HGA is selling too. I mean, this is the instruction. You could pause the screen, whatever. That's their address. Whatever, dude. It's so easy. It's literally so much easier than PSA. Um, you just, it's so simple. How do you submit, man? It's so, it's literally. You just read these instructions, man. You just put the cards in order. You just ship them out, and it's simple. You get them back in 30 days. You could pay 20 a card, like 22 a card for 60 days, but I <coughs> I want the turnaround time. I want to see if they hit that turnaround time of 30 days. But here we go. HGA, great company. Why do I like it? They're subgrades. It makes your company more legit. 
if you guys look at companies like SGC, they're legit. I'm not going to say they're not, but they don't have subgrades. So it kind of makes you wonder, are they actually in the cars or are people just eyeballing it? You know, they have a computer system, they have a human system and they have subgrades. So it really tells you what is wrong, what's not. That's what I like about subgrades. I love PSA too, but since these new companies like GMA, they just came around, you know, they could just eyeball it. Boom, 10. They're not really looking into it. PSA does look into a lot more. They do give good perspectives. They know a lot more. But you know what the problem is? It's turnaround times for me. I'm a big turnaround guy. I'm here to make money. I'm trying to do a grading order every month or so. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Mr. Lamella Ball, Pristine 10. This card is just a gem made. Tyler Hero. These cards are selling for higher, almost higher than PSA. They're right next to PSA. This is downtown Fernando Tatis, bro. Trust me, man. When I say this stuff is going to sell, they are going to sell. HGA might take over the market. No lie. They could be the long-term run. They could really make a push. This Don Russ, Pristine 10, Bam on Dial, two days left. Is that 75 bucks? This card might sell for $400. These, I'm telling you right now, man, these cards are on the ups right now. HGA is going to make a huge impact on the market, and I think you guys should definitely, definitely choose them. I'm telling you right now. PSA, man, I'm not waiting eight months, bro. I don't care if it's 10 bucks less. I want my cards back in a month. What are you doing with them? What are you doing with them? Why are my cards that are worth $1,000 not there? You know what I'm saying? Why are they not at my house a month or three months later? You gotta freaking get... If you have 5 million cards in your damn lobby and you have 10 workers, go hire people. I could grade cards for sake, man. You look at the corners. You look at the surface. You put it under a light. Boom. Grade done. Where is the cards? You need workers, man. Come on. You have a million dollars of business. Billions of dollars of business. Freaking help the people. <coughs> but anyways. How do you make an order? Well, we go to create an order. We add the card. Set name. I don't know. Prism Draft. Let's do Tyrese. Card number. I don't know. 10. Variation. Just red, white, and blue, right? Prism, red, white, and blue. I did it. It doesn't matter. Match card. Quantity. One. Boom. For the declared value, just put 100. Just put 100. Trust me. They're not going to upcharge you. 100, 200, whatever. Because they charge you a dollar per 100. So that's it. You just go add a card. Boom. Do that. Do that. Do that again. That again. That again. Boom. Then you do save and quit. And now here's the thing. You want to do save and quit. And then once they have the queue up time around 4 o'clock, you just wait. Just keep refreshing. You don't even have to refresh. It pops up. And then you just hope for the lottery. Hope you get in. And put your card numbers in quick. You got to do it quick because it's limited. So I got it in. Um, and that's pretty much how you do it, man. It's simple. How do you package it up? I'm going to tell you quite simply. You put the cards in order. So front, back. You put them in. You label it. You put them in top loaders. You seal it nice with some bubble wrap. Don't put tape on it or anything. Little box. Bubble wrap it again. Whatever. Um, print the shipping label. Print the other stuff. Put one of them in the box of all the cards that you're grading. Um, label the front of the box front and then label it back like inside of the box label the front and the back and then boom That's it. It's so easy. You bring it to USPS priority mail 850 boom done period That's how you do it. That's all I got for the video I just want to show you guys HGA is up next and um, yeah, that's all we got for the video I, I just so hyped to get it back. We're gonna get our cards back and I would say 28 days so we'll see. I wonder if the turnaround time is 30 days on their time or whatever time. Or if I, if I did the order Friday, will I get it back four months? You know what I'm saying? We'll see. Let's see if they hit the turnaround less or more. We're going to check it out. Stay tuned, man. I have a PSA order in for four months. I have an HGA order in. I'm getting waxed and I'm grinding. So want to know what you guys think. Have a good one. Peace.